Hi, my name is Enrique Avalos, and this is the first part in a very special multi part series for Kilson Street where we interview local people running for local office. Our first guest is Mike Delati. How are you, Mike? Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. My first question is pretty straightforward. Why are you running for your uh, school board? Ooh, I've been, uh, that's a great question. I've been, in, I've been living in Santa Ana and working in Santa Ana for over 20 years. I made a lot of money and I, now it's time to give back to the community. Education has been a dear subject to my heart because my, both of my parents were educators. My mom taught first grade for 24 years. Uh, so when it comes to education, I think the, we can improve our lifestyle starting with education. Awesome. Now I have to ask, uh, do you have any political affiliations? Are you a Republican, a Democrat? This particular race is not about, uh, I, I am not a politician. So it's not about Democrat or Republican. It's about the kids, our children. We need to improve. We need to do what's necessary to, to improve our education system, our learning experience. Um, my next question, uh, do you own a business? And would you say that it, that would affect your candidacy? I actually, yes, I do own a business. I have a H&R blog. Um, I also own, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an insurance broker, real estate broker. So uh, my background is unique. My background is unique. My education, I have a BA degree in accounting. Uh, I'm an enrolled Asian, which is the highest status given by the IRS to an indiv individual. All this unique experience will help me do the job better if I get elected. Well, let's say you're elected, all right? Um, let's say you have the opportunity to tackle that one major issue that's most important to you. What would be that first issue you would tackle? My, my number one issue, and that's what really made me run, is parent engagement. I would, I would want to have a parent center in every school to get the parents involved. Because once a parent, every parent is every child's first teacher. So if we don't get them involved, if we don't help them learn the language, if we don't help them get their degree, then they cannot push their kids harder. And we will have lower uh, dropout. And what do you believe is the most pressing issue for parents in SAUSD? In Santa Ana, poverty. We got poverty, we got language barrier, because a lot of parents don't speak English. And then, we, and then we get educate, lack of education. Uh, so most parents don't value education that much because they never had education themselves, their own parents, they've never been in school. So how could you push your kid to education if you yourself don't understand the value of it? It breaks, kind of breaks my heart every mm -hmm. time I see a high school uh, kid, 15, 16, go get a job, drop out of school to go help his parents pay the rent. My next question, have you ever run for public office before? Yes, I ran for auditor controller. So my background in accounting and taxes, uh, I ran for a, a Orange County auditor controller right, right before this one, right before this race. And I didn't, I didn't make it in the primaries. And I have to ask, how do you believe your current profession prepares you for SAUSD? As, a, as an accountant, as a, as a tax instructor, I teach taxes, I teach accounting courses, and I'm also a junk professor at ORT College. I, so education is really, really dear subject to my heart. I love to teach. I even teach, I, I mentor a lot of our kids because I have more than 5,000 clients here at the office. So they come to me, I mentor them, I help them, and I felt it was time for me to do it at the larger level. Mike, what do you want Santa Ana voters to know about you? They want to know I'm, I'm a hard worker, I'm honest. I'm going to get the job done. And what I want from them is to give me their vote. Is there a particular issue in the SAUSD that you would uh, want to fix? Not necessarily fix. I mean, I'm, the, the current board has done a great job, and all what we want to do is enhance what they have done. And we want to take, change is good because you know, the technology is changing every, every day. You buy a phone, after three months, a new phone comes out. So, so change is good, and we want to enhance what they started and uh, add to it. 
And those issues to me, the most important issue is the parents. Because I lived here and I see it. I see it every day with my clients here in Santa Ana. We, we must help them out. And if we do, it will change, will, will help everyone. Mike, uh, Santa Ana is a large, diverse city. Uh, what can parents expect from you? They can expect uh, honesty, transparency, dedication, commitment to get the job done, to improve the city, to improve our, our, our kids' learning experience. That's all what I can tell them. Uh, I read, uh, it broke my heart when I, when I read an article about a month ago that Santa Ana is not a family-friendly city because of the school district, because they rate the school district lower than Irvine, for example. And I, I don't think it's true because we have the best teachers, we have the best educators, we have the best schools. All what we need are little adjustments and we'll, and we'll get there. Awesome. Uh, let's say you're elected to school board. Um, what would be your long-term plan for SAUSD? I want, I want SAUSD and the city of Santa Ana to have the best reputation. I want people to, to uh, from Irvine, they want to move to Santa Ana, live in Santa Ana, so they can send their kids to schools of Santa Ana, because we really do have the teachers. Our teachers are not only teachers, they are social workers, because of the socioeconomic background of those kids that come to those uh, schools. We got, we got kids who are hungry, kids who come to school with dirty uh, uniform, they got kids who are, their parents are uh, abusing drugs, alcohol. They're, so the teachers, they have so many hands. God bless them, they're, they, have a, they have a huge job ahead of them. And we're awesome. going to help them, and we have to help them, and we have to empower them. Awesome. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for being a part of this uh, multi-part series and being our first guest. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Stay tuned because we have more guests, more segments, and a special surprise for you coming up.